Welcome to the War Room for Courageous Wives. Our mission is to encourage and equip wives and women of God for our spiritual battles. Now, it's easy when things are going good, but what about the difficult seasons? On this podcast, we talk with the hard stuff and celebrate the good things. So sit back, listen, and learn with us. Welcome to War Room for Courageous Wives. Um, Today, I want to talk to you about something that God has been dealing with me on. Um, And I had a really amazing talk with my husband yesterday that really just um, helped kind of pull me in deeper uh, with prayer on this topic. And um, and God really spoke to me through my husband and also directly to me in prayer as I uh, just kind of meditated on his word and prayed more on this and what I'm talking about is just feeling uncomfortable and just going through times of uncertainty Uh, this week I had a lot of um, times of just uncertainty of just not knowing what way was up not knowing what God was doing just uh, and feeling just a lot of anxiety and just oh my gosh um like regretful feelings and just so much just really feeling uncomfortable and a lot of times when we feel that way you know we have uh, we question God sometimes or we question you know why why am I going through this when am I finally gonna have my miracle when am I feeling like finally gonna have my breakthrough and just um, you know why do I have to go through these periods you know of, of uncertainty or of um, feeling uh, like like this unwanted change or this uncomfortable feelings you know and for me a lot of times this week you know I, I did the you know God help me please prayers and um and I believe God loves those prayers you know he loves when we cry out to him he loves when we are just um surrendering to him and just wanting to listen to him and there's never a wrong time to pray um though sadly I feel that it may be the only time God hears from us is when we are truly brought to our knees and you know I like to be transparent and honest and for a while I just haven't felt as close to God as I have in the past Um, and this week was just one of those weeks where I just needed to feel his presence I needed to feel him because I was just going through a lot Um, and so I had one of those God help me please um, prayers um, and such a prayer though sometimes when we do those type of prayers we may assume that God wants us happy comfortable and satisfied right Um, and that perhaps is partially true um, especially in the ultimate sense but the Bible talks um, at least as much um, about how important it is for us to be uncomfortable and how important our discomfort is to God. The Bible talks about that a lot. Sometimes God wants us uncomfortable, right? Sometimes he wants us to go through these periods of um, when we're not totally satisfied. Um, and, and I'm not saying that God doesn't want us happy, comfortable, or satisfied. Don't get me wrong, but God created us um, for much more than just happiness. God didn't purely put us on this earth on this planet in this life just to be happy and to find happiness um at least um in the way we usually think about happiness right so our natural concept of our existence is much too shallow too tame too comfortable for what God has for us and I hope that you're getting that because um, I'm speaking to myself as I am recording this because like I said I've been going through some things and God has been dealing with me um so you know it's really a time uh to think uh think of a time um where where in your life you felt the worst right so it's a time for us to really think so think about a time where you felt the worst perhaps you were depressed or anxious like I mentioned earlier I've been super anxious and just feeling like alone Uh, this past week, week and a half, two weeks of my life, just trying to figure things out, um, 
and uh, you know just think of I want you to really as you're listening to my voice think about a time where you felt that way Um, and if you're like me or if you're like most people you probably you know wanted to stay in bed or binge watch tv or or eat right pig out I'm an emotional eater Um, and though those things probably make us feel good uh, or look comfortable you know on the outside we're actually more miserable right um now i want you to also since you have that picture in your head think of a time when you felt most alive most fulfilled most happy and usually it's when we have you know um done something out of the box right or created something beautiful um or accomplished a goal or something like that or made a life-altering connection with someone or um, just um, like for an example perhaps you you know you've hiked to the top of a mountain and you know you felt like you could see the whole world maybe you um, finally you know finished that real estate course and you're ready to take the test maybe you took a leap of faith and started that business right usually you feel the most alive during those times when you've you've built a connection with someone that maybe you haven't talked to in a while or you finally just open up in a way you've never done before um the joy the joy that we experience um comes from the result of taking a risk right of pushing ourselves beyond what we thought we could do or giving ourselves um or giving of ourselves is what I'm trying to say in a different way. You know, it took something out of you. Um, it took something out of all of us. And the fulfillment we received in return was more valuable um, because of how uncomfortable we probably were, right, during the journey. But once we got to where we needed to go, the fulfillment was like, wow, it was all worth it. I understand now. And, and I hope that you're getting what I'm saying. Um, because there's many times where um, Jesus, um, you know, at, there were many times where Jesus asked or pointed questions or told stories that greatly disturbed someone um, of those listening, right? Some people, especially the children or sick people, love being around Jesus in the Bible. If you go back, um, others, especially um, many of the leaders, couldn't wait to get rid of him um, because Jesus was clearly made people extremely uncomfortable right he, he's good at that um he does that for a purpose um, something my husband said to me was jesus came to comfort the afflicted and to afflict the comfortable like that that just hit home for me that was so powerful um because um you know if we think back to jesus resurrection shortly after his resurrection jesus met two men walking um from jerusalem jerusalem (laughs) and he joined them and the men were anxious and upset and jesus didn't immediately go to to soothe them and to comfort them you know um they had to feel uncomfortable for a little while right and later um it was described that their hearts um was burning within them during their conversation with jesus right um you know if you're experiencing a season of um discontent of constantly um you know of feeling uncomfortable right you you don't you don't um just constantly just start taking rollades right when you have a heartburn pay attention to your burning heart listen to what god wants to say to you or to do with you or to do within you um if you're burning if you're uncomfortable god may be trying to uh to have you unlearn some old ways of thinking or behaving to stretch you into a new um um uh, era of increase um to he may be trying to uncover uh, uncover a ungodly character trait within you and i know that's a hard pill to swallow but a lot of times god is trying to pull something out of us he's trying to build something within us he's trying to truly transform us right he's trying to transform our thinking my husband said that to me you know god wants to transform your thinking your mind you know and if you don't get those lessons you're going to have to repeat them. You're going to keep finding yourself in these uncomfortable situations. You're going to keep finding yourself in these places of uncertainty because you're not learning the lesson. 
So I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now, if you're, if you're feeling this heartburn, don't just keep taking the rollades. Pay attention to your burning heart. Listen to what God wants to say to you, what he's saying to you, what he wants to do within you. Because he's trying to uncover something, an ungodly character trait that um, he wants to transform. He probably wants to raise your sights beyond yourself to see to see others in need, right? He probably wants you to um, see things the way he sees them, see people the way he sees them. Wow, that that is really speaking to me right now because, um, wow, that, that's a deep one. Because sometimes we don't see God we don't see people the way God sees them. We don't see the hurt. We don't understand why they behave or do things the way they, they do. And maybe that's why we're having conflicts with them, right? But God wants we, us to see them on a different level. He wants us to love them the way he loves them, especially when it comes to our spouses, right? I, I say that a lot on this podcast. You have to love the way God is trying to train you to love. You can't love the way you want to love. You can't. You have to love unconditionally and provide your spouse with the love um, of God, that, that agape love. God wants to push us to become someone capable of much greater responsibility. But in order to get us there, sometimes we have to be uncomfortable because it's going to require something out of us. Sometimes, sometimes it's going to require us to be uncomfortable or to walk through some uncertain situations or to go through a new phase in our lives. Um, uh, uh, God, God invites you um, to, to go through this journey, and you're not doing it by yourself. You're doing it with God. He's walking with you. I invite you to be um, in, to, 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 to be a part of this, this war room for Courageous Wise because we tackle the, the hard things, you know? Um, I feel like God is trying to say to you or to us to be in be an effective agent in spiritual warfare and his kingdom and to do that sometimes we have to be uncomfortable um so if you are uncomfortable consider god what god may be trying to tell you consider whether god may be uh hidden in that uncomfortable situation and see where the warmth of your burning heart may take you i really want um to just uh i want you to to consider that, you know, if you're struggling with any unwanted change in your life, consider whether you might be clinging to old ways while God is trying to do something new. And I know a lot of times that's my problem. You know, if you're so used to doing things a certain way, you're so used to things going a certain way, or and then when it's when it disrupts your life, you're like, wait, 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 wait what's going on? And God is trying to take you to new levels, right? Um, so maybe you don't like, you know, um, you know, the, the new situation that you're going in because it feels uncomfortable, even painful, right? It hurts. But when we have to let go of something old and move forward, sometimes it's going to feel uncomfortable. But I want to encourage you to, as I'm encouraging myself, um, as my husband encouraged me just last night to hold tightly to our heavenly father hold tightly to his hand he has good plans for you and he will guide you through it all um just for today i i want to challenge you to choose to believe god um god has a hopeful future in store and to take the next step forward with god then tomorrow do it again and then the next day do it again um before long you will really see um god's plans for you unfolding god's good plans for you unfolding before you Let's pray. Lord, I don't like change (laughs) because it makes me feel uncertain and insecure. Forgive me, God, for holding on to my own ideas of what security looks like, what comfortable looks like and feels like. Help me to remember that you are my firm foundation, Lord God. When the winds of change are rocking my boat, Lord God, Give me the grace I need to hold your hand firmly as I take steps into unknown waters. Father, I want to be open to you and your plans. Give me wisdom, Lord God, to follow your leading. Help me to be open to new things when when they feel uncomfortable. God, help me to follow you even when your ways seem unfamiliar 
unfair, Lord God. And I just don't understand what's going on, Lord God. God, I just pray that you press on my heart and you help me to love like you. To love people the way you do, Lord God. To see them the way you see them, Lord God. To see, to change my perspective, Lord God. Help me to change my perspective, Lord God. Press on my heart, Lord God. Help me to to trust you when I feel anxious, when I feel uncomfortable, when I want to do things my way, Lord God. That's not your way. That's not your will, Lord God. Help me to trust you. Lord, when my path feels uncertain, help me to follow you with courage and joy. I rejoice in your rule over my life, God. I praise you because you are faithful. You are my faithful Heavenly Father. And I know that your plans for me are good, Lord God. God, help me to trust your plans for me. Help me to choose to act kinder than I feel, Lord God. To do your will, to do things your way, Lord God. Especially during the hard times, during the uncertain times, during the uncomfortable times, God. I pray and I just ask you to help me to be obedient, Lord God. Press on me, God, to be obedient, Lord God. And I just need your your encouragement. I need your strength, Lord God. Because sometimes during those times, you know, it's hard to be obedient because I feel uncomfortable and I want to run and I want to do what feels comfortable to me. I want to do what feels easier, Lord God. But help me to to do the hard work uh, so that you can do the hard work in me, Lord God. Thank you, God, for choosing me. Thank you, God, for choosing me for this journey. Thank you, God, for not giving up on me. Thank you, God, for blessing me with this journey. I thank you for the transformations, Lord God, that you're doing in my life, God. I pray and I thank you, Lord God. I ask that you walk with me because I cannot do it alone. I love you, Jesus, and I thank you. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you. You are good, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. You are so good. In Jesus' name, I pray. Forgive me, God, for holding on to my own ideas of what security looks like, what comfortable looks like and feels like. Help me to remember that you are my firm foundation, Lord God. When the winds of change are rocking my boat, Lord God, give me the grace I need to hold your hand firmly as I take steps into unknown waters. Father, I want to be open to you and your plans. Give me wisdom, Lord God, to follow your leading. Help me to be open to new things when when they feel uncomfortable. God, help me to follow you even when your ways seem unfamiliar, unfair, Lord God. And I just don't understand what's going on, Lord God. God, I just pray that you press on my heart and you help me to love like you to love people the way you do, Lord God, to see them the way you see them, Lord God, to see, to change my perspective, Lord God, help me to change my perspective, Lord God, press on my heart, Lord God, help me to, to trust you when I feel anxious, when I feel uncomfortable, when I want to do things my way, Lord God, that's not your way, that's not your will, Lord God, help me to trust you. Lord, when my path feels uncertain, help me to follow you with courage and joy. I rejoice in your rule over my life, God. I praise you because you are faithful. You are my faithful Heavenly Father. And I know that your plans for me are good, Lord God. God, help me to trust your plans for me. Help me to choose to act kinder than I feel do your will to do things your way, Lord God. 
especially during the hard times, during the uncertain times, during the uncomfortable times, God, I pray and I just ask you to help me to be obedient, Lord God. Press on me, God, to be obedient, Lord God, and I just need your your encouragement. I need your strength, Lord God, because sometimes during those times, you know, it's hard to be obedient because I feel uncomfortable and I want to run and I want to do what feels comfortable to me. I want to do what feels easier, Lord God, but help me to, to do the hard work uh, so that you can do the hard work in me, Lord God. Thank you, God, for choosing me. Thank you, God, for choosing me for this journey. Thank you, God, for not giving up on me. Thank you, God, for blessing me with this journey. I thank you for the transformations, Lord God, that you're doing in my life, God. I pray and I thank you, Lord God. I ask that you walk with me because I cannot do it alone. I love you, Jesus, and I thank you. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you. You are good, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. You are so good. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that today's episode was encouragement and inspiration for your wifehood journey. Whether your marriage is thriving or barely surviving, we're all in a daily spiritual battle. And this podcast is here to help equip and encourage you to war in the spirit. As we're all doing the same thing right along with you, you're not alone. So please remember to click the link below to connect with us beyond the show. Can't wait to hear from you. Thank you.